a wild mix of anticipation and excitement with a little touch of nervousness, I would say. It's, it's really strange, really surreal uh, to think the man who saved my life is on the other side of that door. <laughs> Oh, my days, this is crazy. Sit down. <laughs> How are you? <laughs> A break at the moment, to be honest. It's really hard to describe just where I was and, um, and where I am now, and it's just two worlds apart. There wasn't, there wasn't anything, there wasn't anything to look forward to. And so when we found out that Auntie Nolan had found Stefan, it just, it just gave us a future again. And I'd, all I really need to say is thank you. Because um, <laughs> you've, you've given us everything, really. Um, just thank you. <laughs> I'm really just glad I could help. It's really, I'm just really glad I could help. I, was <laughs> I think I just shell-shocked. This is mad. The donation for me made me feel very human, in a sense. I, I, I never hesitated. It was never about, should I do it? It was more, okay, what exactly do I need to do? It's not it's such a big deal in terms of what you actually do. Mm. So it makes it harder to grasp the, the impact that it had. Yeah. Because it takes a couple of hours to actually do the whole donation process. And then now, due to this, having a child. When I found out I was pregnant, um, I was completely bowled over because, because of course the transplant had left me completely infertile and we had to go down an IVF route. So when I had that stick that, that told me that I was, I was for sure pregnant, um, we, we, were, we were stunned, completely stunned. <laughs> so would you like to meet my daughter? Yeah. <laughs> hey, are you coming out? Hello Pete, nice to meet you. And then you. Hello. Do you want to say hi? You pop her out. Hello. What's going on today? Hey, what's going on? So, Stefan, this is Phoebe. <laughs> Meeting Phoebe was amazing. This uh, put the whole experience on another level, I feel, because you have now this, not only this person where you had the chance to help, but now also there's another little person that exists and that just put the cherry on top. Auntie Nolan have made it possible for me to live again. Um, I'm, I am just lucky and lucky that the charity exists really. Um, I, wouldn't, I wouldn't be here without you guys. Mm.